We all know that self-reflecting is essential to improving in any areas of your life and that includes your skill in CS2 as well. However, most people tend to just watch their demos by downloading it through CS and then watching it regularly or for face it players, they have to find the match, download it, extract it, then finding the correct folder to place the demo and finally typing the play demo command to watch the demo. A lot of steps which is a total waste of time and the worst part for both of these methods, they don't give you enough information or tools to analyze yourself effectively. What do I mean by that? Well, here are a few problems that I had while using the regular CSTV demo viewer. First, the POV keeps switching whenever the player I'm spectating dies which is really annoying. Many players has voiced it out on Reddit but Valve is not taking any action. The second thing is the date time such as when you get killed, the 15 seconds round start timer and round end is not skipped automatically. You can work around this by using a keybind to skip through the footage quickly by speeding it up by 20 times but it still requires you to wait for a few seconds. The third thing is if you want to watch your highlight kills or your death, you can either see which rounds you played well through the graph here in Premiere or for face it players, well, have fun going through the whole footage just trying to find it. I only listed out some of the few problems or lack of feature for the regular demo viewer just so I don't waste too much of your time. Anyways, let me show you the literal best demo manager that I have ever seen and the best part is, it is completely free. And here it is. This god tier software is created by Archivir, hopefully I'm pronouncing it correctly, and thank you so much for contributing to the CS2 community. This is how the demo manager looks like. As you can see, there is a lot of features so I'm just going to cover a few of the main features that is extremely useful and a huge time saver. First thing that you have to do is go to the downloads tab. For Premiere, make sure you're on the Valve tab and click on the continue button and all your Premiere games would be here. Download the ones that you would like to watch. For Face It, you can enter your username and all the games would be here but you will still have to download the demos through Faceit itself. It's not really the demo manager's fault, it's just Faceit being Faceit. Well, at least it has a button to automatically bring you to the website of the match. Then click on Watch Demo to download the Faceit demo. Once downloaded, make sure to extract the demo from the zip file. Ensure that the extension is .dem. You can just simply double click the file and it will open on the demo manager which is another simple yet great feature. Click on see demo and you can just watch the demo like usual but this analyze feature is the main reason why you want to use this demo manager. Click on it, wait for a while and finally click on see match. And once it is done, you can see that it literally analyzes the whole game and provides you with more information than you ever need. Rounds, players, even heat maps are the most used weapon in this game. There is also a literal free 2D viewer which is honestly insane. Click on generate positions and now you can watch the demo in 2D. It's super useful to just see the entire game quickly and knowing everybody's position and getting used to the timings. There are paid services such as scope.gg or litify to see the demo in 2D and it does look slightly better such as showing the smoke radius and the UI. However, this does get the job done. Also, did I mention that this was free? Yes, I know I mention it a lot because I love free stuff. And of course, I like money so please join the membership. Another great feature is watching a single POV which also auto skips during deaths, round start and round end. To get there, instead of clicking watch at the top here, you can right click on the player that you would like to watch and click on watch rounds. Now, the spectator camera would be locked onto the specific player and skips literally all the date time. I will also show you some of the demo comments and key binds that I personally use to improve the demo watching experience at the end. Whenever I want to stroke my ego a little, I just go to the same place and click on the highlights button. It will be locked onto me again but this time, it will only show the kills that I have gotten and skips every other part. Those of you that make some kind of frag movie, this will literally be a lifesaver. Or if you want to watch your own death, click on low lights instead. Do be warned though that you might cry inside when you constantly see yourself getting destroyed. I know I definitely did. Here is another bonus little quality of life feature. As I previously mentioned, you can just double click on the demo file and it will open up the demo manager. There is another simpler way which is to tell the demo manager where do you usually store your demo files. Go into settings, 
folders and add a folder. For me, I just created a demo folder in my downloads folder, so I would just select that. Now, if I go to the demos tab, the folder would be here and it definitely saves a lot of time. I no longer have to move the demo file into folders after folders to just watch a simple demo. Alright, so as promised, here are my demo keybinds that I use frequently. The first one is to switch to my POV, second one is to toggle X-ray, third and fourth is to fast forward by 50 times and 20 times, the fifth one is to skip forward by 25 seconds. Why 25 seconds? Because once the round is over and the sound has been played, let's say terrorists win, then it will skip immediately to the start of the round. Sixth one is to go back 5 seconds and finally play and pause the demo. But honestly, with the demo manager, I only use like half of the demo keybinds shown at this point. Oh, and also, to hear the enemy and your own team's comms, type these two comments. TV underscore listen underscore voice underscore indices underscore H space negative one and another one without the underscore H. I just put all of these comments into my auto exec file so it just runs every time I open up the game. All the comments will be in the description, copy and change it to your liking. Now let's get on with the setup process. I'm not going to lie, the setup process is slightly complicated but it's totally worth it and the creator also did a great job creating a tutorial documentation on it as well. I will also be holding your hand throughout the way so just relax and follow along. If I actually get a comment saying something along the lines of the setup process broke my PC, I'm going to find you in your sleep. Anyways, click on the Postgre SQL download link in the description below. Download the latest installer based on your operating system, which at this time is the version 16. Hopefully, you are using Windows. Run the setup file and for the components part, only Postgre SQL and command line tools are required and the others are optional. For the password, put anything you like but make sure that you remember it. For port, keep it on 5432 and then keep clicking on next until you finally click on finish. Ok, that should be easy enough. For the next step, this is the slightly complicated part so pay attention. Search environment variables and then edit the system environment variables should appear, open it up and click on environment variables. Under the user variables, click on path, edit, this window should appear and now click on new and then browse. And Find the folder that you installed the Postgre SQL in. The default should be C Drive, Program Files, Postgre SQL, 16, or if you are watching this later, the version might be 17 or 18, then finally bin. Click on OK and this string of text should be at the bottom of the page. Click on OK on all the windows and the final step, go to the GitHub page in the description below, download the CS Demo Manager setup file, for Windows user, download the .exe file. Run the setup file and once done, open up the CS Demo Manager application and type the password that you put for the PostgreSQL during the installation previously. If for some reason it gives you some kind of error like PostgreSQL not found, it could be that you didn't enter the path variable properly, so go back to the second step and follow it again. And you're done! If there are any questions or issues that you are facing, you can go through the tutorial documentation or comment it below and I'll try to help. Okay, while I was editing this video, I noticed that I kind of sound like I'm getting sponsored by them. But just to clarify, I'm not. It is just a great tool to help you guys. So go ahead and explore the demo manager. There is a lot of useful features such as downloading every premium matches automatically and even more. Share your findings if you have managed to find any useful features down in the comments below to help other people too. Now you can analyze your games like a pro and improve faster than ever. Like and subscribe if this has helped you. Click on this video to know why I like free stuff. Hint, because I quit my job.